Good morning, Orchard STEM School. This is Mr. Hoydick, your art teacher. Today we are going to work on coloring our Georgia O'Keeffe flower drawing from last time. Now the key word today is blending. Blending. When I look at her example that I printed up for reference, I see different colors. I see some blue, and that includes light blue and dark blue. I see some areas that almost look black. And I see some areas that are yellow. And here it's almost green. Where the yellow and blue meet, they sort of make a green. And then finally, there are areas of white. What I'm going to do is start by coloring in the petals up here. And to do that, well, you can see the three pencils I brought were a yellow and a light blue and a dark blue that's actually a blue violet, which I think will be perfect. And what I'll do is start on the edge next to this white area. And I'll shade in the area, in the direction of the petal. In other words, I'm shading up and down and up and down, not back and forth. And I'm going to stop a little short of the edge right in here, right there. And I'm going to shade over to the other side and now I'm going to shade down. And so I have the outline of one of the petals. Now what I'll do is on the edge, I'll press kind of hard. And as I get to the middle, I'll press kind of light. So on the edge, I'm pressing with my hand kind of hard. It's making a darker line. And when I get to the middle, I press kind of light. Now I'm going to start on the left side of this petal. And it's important to shade in the direction of the petal. In other words, up and down or vertical, rather than side to side, horizontal. And the lighter areas on the edge, right here, I'm just going to very lightly shade. Now, if I want to use the tip of my pencil, I can really put in a nice edge on the pedal. There we go. Blend. Here's that blue I talked about, the lighter blue. And what I'm going to do is go in there and add the lighter blue to it. What this does is create a new shade, a blended shade. Now, does this look perfectly exactly the same as George O'Keefe's? Nope. Is that all right with me? Yep. And you can see when we blend, we get something new. And when we blend, we get this rich tone that's neither the blue violet nor the light blue. It's a blending of the two. One petal is done. Now I'm going to move to the next petal. Maybe the one on the left here. I notice that on my example there's a lighter area. I might leave that. And so I'm using the blue violet to shade along the edge. And I'll press lighter in the middle. And when I get to the edge down here, I'll press kind of hard. All the way out to the edge. And you know what? I'm going to use the tip of the pencil. I'm going to outline the top of this petal. And when 
I go back. And the edge of the petal, again, kind of dark. And lighter in the middle. It's all about pressing. The pressure of your hand makes a darker shade of the color. And if you really want a nice edge, go in with the tip of your colored pencil, like so. And the second petal's done. Well, done-ish. Now I'm gonna take in that lighter blue and I'm not pressing super hard because when you blend you don't want to press super hard what that does is burnishes the colored pencil which means it makes it shiny and I don't quite want to do that and maybe I'll just lightly hit that there next petal's done now I'm going to work on this one in the middle. And do you know what? On this one, I see that the light blue kind of takes over. Uh, right about here. And so I'm not going to press as hard. I will on this edge, but not in the middle and not on the right side of this pedal. Oh, and you know what? The very top of this pedal has a, a light blue edge on it, right there. I'm going to finish up this petal with the light blue. And the blending. And then I want to get that top edge that I talked about. This is the light blue. So we're going to like that. Now, maybe I'll keep working in the middle, and I see some blue areas up here. Not much of the dark blue, but there still is some. Right on the edge here, right on the edge here, right on the edge there, and just a little on the edge here. That's probably enough. But I do see the lighter blue. For this lighter blue. I'll go ahead and add this. And I'll go ahead and add this. Now I feel like adding some yellow. And that's going to be in a couple places. That's going to be along here. Oop, there's the green. Pretty cool, huh? There's the green. But I'm not going to color it all in white shading, or, I'm sorry, yellow. I'm shading some of it, and I'm going to add some white. I misspoke there. I'm going to add some yellow down here, in the center of the blossom. 
and maybe blend a little bit up, but not much. And now it's time for me to add some white. I should have grabbed that before, but it's right here. And I'm actually going to blend with the white in this yellowish area and this area and this area and on the pedal actually on all the pedals now the area next to this blossom that comes up here is blue so if I lightly color it in I'm going to hold the pencil on its edge that will give me more area of the pencil to shade with it's kind of dark next to and it comes out lighter press lighter 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 all the way out and I can kind of do the same on the left side but if you look at the left side it's not as dark as this now what haven't I done to this area blended and that will be next See, there's a piece here that comes up right there it's a little bit lighter it's a little lighter in the middle and darker next to the pedal there we go and let's get that lighter blue in there I can use the tip of the pencil to sort of get it how I want it and on the left and I'll blend this part here now I'll stand back for it from it for a minute and I see make some of these areas a little sharper with the point of my color pencil. You notice it's not blue when I color it, it's like a greenish because the yellow and the blue will mix to make that green. Now let's add a little bit more blue here and there just to blend. I'm going to add some blue down here just to blend. Not sure if I like how this center of the flower is, but yeah, I'll keep working on it. I'll add a little bit of blue in the white areas, just a little. And there we go. So, worked on three petals. I've worked on the other blossom a little bit, a little bit of the background there. I think I make this edge a little darker. And if I want to, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just going to use a little black. Just a little tiny black colored pencil. Sort of outline a little bit here and there. And there we go. I think there's a good place to stop for today. I want to see you start to color in your um, O'Keefe flower and then please submit it. Don't need to finish coloring it, but get a good start on it today and uh, enter it, enter your submission. All right, I hope you have a great day. Try your best. Thanks.